Hello everyone, SMA Watts here, about to continue our Let's Play of the Blood Elf Death Knight in World of Warcraft. When we last left off, we'd been here in Ice Crown Citadel still, and we'd dealt some with the Call to the Dam to some extent. Now we're going to move forward on the, uh, on all of that. No rest for the wicked. These fools have actually stumbled upon something that could pose a serious threat to our plans. Uh, the leader of this particular sect, Olameth, has ritualistically sacrificed himself and now his underlings are channeling power to his soul. He's allowed to rest. His efforts will soon transform him into a mighty adversary. Combine his heart, skull, scepter, and robe from around the, their chamber and use his remains on the crystal there. Hurry, Blood Elf. Destroy him before he truly becomes any more powerful. When our forces began to move beyond Ulthar, they will become vulnerable to attacks from the Iron Wall Rampart and the Broad Glacier below. We have neither the time nor the materials to build fortifications, but we can put some of the barricades to shield our men from the fire and break up the scourge charges. Take this barricade, kick to the barricade kit to the Valley of Fallen Heroes on the west side of Uldathar. Locate the markers I have placed there and use this kit to construct bar your barricades there. And we're off. So yeah, barricades here. Kill the guy that wants to be reanimated there. Oop, titanium. And dive bomb the titanium. Well, I guess that means we're doing the uh, kits first, since we're at this altitude now. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really see this helping anybody, but... Oh, of course, you're just a caster, so you're not going to actually charge me when I can't. When I taunt. Alright. Well, you won't attack me. But you will. And why do they need eight barricades? Why can't they all hide behind like two? We're spoiling the grunts. And Kultera seems to have been kind of meh about the whole thing since they're sort of. Why am I not mounted? Oh, because of that thing. A lot of them. Alright, let's kill us a, a would-be lich. Oh, wait, that's right. This one is not... A kill quest. Well, it is. We have to kill him when we're done, but... 
We actually have to gather his stuff, which is in chests. I always find it funny when one of them runs off to fight the maggot. Guess there's nothing in that chest. Something's attacking me. And it can go on attacking me, I guess. Another chest, it's got the scepter. That's oh, a frost wave. Alright, we need his something. I'm missing something still. We need his heart. Some sour goat cheese, always useful. Combine the rest of the things with this heart, and you get him in a box somewhere. I don't know. I think I just. Oh no! I have to actually use the uh, item. Where is it? All right. That is remains. It should have a yellow outline, right? Because it's a quest item. No. There it is. Yeah. Who dares awaken me before the quickening? You know, there's something you never see any character in WoW ever do. <laughs> Attack while holding a held an offhand item. You're just not supposed to. Okay. Back to the hammer. Not that one. That one. Such a vicious looking vehicle. You need something. Ulmeth has suffered a sound defeat, but I sense that his spirit still lingers. We will have our revenge. Kultira nods curtly. Good. It's not much protection, but it's better than nothing. The gate is still the perfect choke point if the Scourge Commanders know that what we're doing. We must gain control of it as, as much of the surrounding area as possible. Alright, that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me for the next step in uh, securing Ice Crown Citadel.